Hi everyone, I'm out for my walk today. And as part of my healthy lifestyle and part of healing, I wanted to talk a little bit, whoops, about eating healthy. Now, that can mean a lot of different things to different people. This is not some extreme diet program that I'm promoting. I don't recommend that, but what I do recommend, especially if you're healing from paralysis, you've only got a little bits of time at a time where you have energy to do things and prepare food, is start learning how to cook simple dishes from scratch, even if it's just like a little bit of beans with butter in it, like I showed it in another video and maybe on another platform, but cooking simple things really enhances your health. It's so much better than going out for food. Most food places you go to, unless you know the owner personally and you know they're cooking high quality food, a lot of food that you get from fast food stores or even like chain restaurants are not that healthy, unfortunately, even though they taste good. And the one way you can actually regain control of your diet is you don't have to do a crazy strict diet of any kind, although you could if you really want to, but probably the biggest benefit with diet that you get out of doing an extreme diet that you can just do simply is cook with the raw ingredients and don't buy processed ingredients. They're processed pre-made meals or processed seasoning mixes. Just make your own stuff. It takes a little bit of time, but then you know that the food that you're cooking is gonna be less acidic. It's not gonna be so hard on your stomach. And that's gonna give you the biggest bang for your buck with nutrition. And speaking of nutrition, supplements can be a good idea, but it depends how good quality they are. If they're very high quality and they're organic, then yeah, they're, they'll be helpful. But even if you buy high quality organic vitamins, and I'm not talking vitamins from Walmart or Shoppers Drug Mart or those kinds of places, because usually <laughs> those are not the best. Um, even the high quality ones, you may not get all of the nutrient value out of it because... <sighs> Basically, your body doesn't always absorb it that well, but it absorbs it better if it's organic. So that's the best way if you decide to do supplements to get your nutrients. But it's even better if you just get your nutrition from food. Like really good quality proteins, animal or vegetarian, whatever you prefer, and greens definitely eat kale, not too much, spinach, green beans, arugula, salad, all the, that stuff is really good for you. It has a lot of nutrients and it will help you feel relaxed. Your body won't be in such a state of emergency because it's getting the nutrition it needs. And then another piece of advice, which I did not always follow when I was paralyzed, is drinking a lot of water. <laughs> At one point, going to the washroom was so difficult for me that I just completely gave up on drinking water and tea and coffee. I just stopped drinking everything so I didn't have to go to the bathroom as much. But as soon as I got comfortable enough that I could do it myself, then I started drinking lots of water confidently. And that also helps the body feel relaxed and it helps with healing. So that's my little segment for today on paralysis and healing. I hope you enjoyed that advice and I hope you found it useful. Have a wonderful evening and hopefully this snow is going to turn into green trees pretty soon. Bye now.